All right, I think I'm live. I'm not sure. Um, supposedly, I'm live. See inside here. So uh, I just want to let you know, guys. Um, uh, can you hear me properly, or is there like a background? Hopefully, there's no any background sound here because I. I'm doing my best to work things out, but anyway, uh, sorry this. Uh, welcome. I, I knew that I'm going to go live on Monday and 7:30 as promised, and I'm live now. Uh, just to let you know, and um, I'm currently really, really sorry. Sorry, actually, and and gue minta maaf banget. Kenapa? It's because um, yang kemarin, bukan yang kemarin sih. Is it kemarin? Yang yang the other day I was live, and um, I think I use a, a software yang go live, and softwarenya itu namanya Streamyard. And then kalau kalian sering online kalau kalian sering live seperti kayak gini uh, mungkin pernah pakai yang namanya software yang namanya Streamyard and let me tell you something pecah banget I'm very sorry I'm I'm to those uh, a couple of people who's watching it yang masuk ke dalam live nya gue juga yang dalam uh, Streamyard nya itu I will never use the software ever again let me tell you and uh, it's I think it's not because of the software's fault or I think it's not because of uh, who, who, whichever's fault atau uh, gue juga nggak ngerti sih gimana caranya cuman I really thought, gue udah nyoba, let me tell you something, gue udah nyobain yang namanya StreamYard, StreamLab, OBS, and then semuanya sih, I have advantages and disadvantages. So kemarin, when I recorded that 20 minutes, I really thought that uh, my internet was strong enough and akhirnya gue pengen live. And ternyata, my internet is nowhere near strong enough, let me tell you. Nowhere near strong enough. And 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 hasilnya, 20 menit itu, mukanya gue blur, blur abyss, my... my my face pixelated, parah deh, pecah banget. So I'm very sorry for those of you yang uh, went to my channel and actually watched the whole 20 minutes. Um, I, I'm, I'm currently very, very sorry actually. So um, I'll let you know what's going to happen before I start this um, uh, YouTube live, before I start the live and before I start my content. Just to let you know, I, I've been doing my best to m know how to live. And there's people like helping me on Instagram, like they... they um, A student of mine DM gue kayak bilang coach uh, kayaknya harus pakai yang namanya OBS coach kayaknya harus pakai yang namanya Streamlab harus pakai yang namanya Streamyard and jadi uh, I tested almost every application yang untuk yang namanya uh, live streamingnya itu and, and uh, so I went through yang namanya Streamyard dari semua application to be honest dari semua application I think Streamyard is the easiest and paling gampang it's user friendly so I did it yesterday 20 minutes and it turned out 20 minutesnya itu <laughs> Buyar Jack It turned out 20 minutes itu hancur semuanya You can hear my voice Tapi my face very pixelated I hope Yang namanya OBS nya ini I work something out And I hope Di dalam OBS yang gue pakai sekarang ini uh, Things gets better And it's a bit clearer this way Anyway so um, Here it is So welcome to Namanya This is Life And and yeah we'll, uh, I'll be talking about life And if you guys new to this uh, Live streaming I just want to let you know uh, thanks so much for coming in. I really do appreciate it. And um, I, I, I have a couple of people coming in. I, I, uh, Vanya is there. Fernando is also there. Hello, Vanya, Fernando. Uh, um, Selamat malam. It's a formal banget gak sih? I just want to let you know, thanks so much for coming in. So today, I'll be talking to you about something. And I'll be talking to you about a topic. And I think topiknya itu menarik banget hari ini. And uh, it won't be long. Tapi menurut saya, topiknya itu, it's very important. And, and I think... Uh, well, to me, it is very important, and everyone's everyone's asking about the topic, and everyone's actually uh, nanya topiknya ini <coughs> sebetulnya gimana ya, and and uh, can I break down the topic? Can I explain about the topic and and segalanya? So I'm gonna talk to you about that topic. So eventually, but first of all, I want to say sorry for last time streaming. So welcome to this is live. My name is Ricky, and uh, my screen name is a Ricky Soroso. If you're new to the channel please do subscribe after you watch the live and if you like my content and it relates to you and if it associates to you please also uh like and also subscribe to the to the channel so uh, i've been i think i've been a motivator or so-called uh insp uh, you know a, a, mo a, a inspirational speaker for about i think 15 years and i think the number is not nothing but Maksudnya, the number is something for me. It was a struggle. It was a hustle. Tapi the number is not for me to wow, to brag about it. But just merely, I you know, I share to kids and parents, and I share to 
uh, corporates and uh, I give a little bit of motivation, a little, a little bit of my short talk. So um, for today's uh, streaming live, I have a good topic for all of us to talk about. And uh, my topic is fairly, very simple. The topic is let's go buy happiness. It's very simple. And everyone's always dari dulu tuh, um, semua pada nanya kayak happiness itu bisa dibeli atau enggak. And then um, the question is, orang suka nanya kayak uang itu bisa beli segalanya atau enggak. Atau orang suka bilang uh, happiness itu... Can you buy or can you buy happiness? Can you just go off the shop and then can you look ke toko and then atau enggak lu bisa enggak ke mana terus beli yang namanya happiness atau enggak? Bang, gua mau happiness satu gitu atau enggak? Uh, Bu, saya mau mesen happiness atau enggak di restoran. Can you actually buy happiness or not? And that's my point. So um today's topic is about let's go buy happiness. So um I have a few things to share with you today. I think it's the three point that I'm going to share with you today is very simple. And um kenapa I, kenapa I want to talk about this? Is because dari dulu, I don't know, my concept dari dulu adalah, kalau you have a lot of money, you're happy. <laughs> I don't know if it's very funny to you atau, gue lagi mikirin sih, if you have a lot of money, you're very happy. And I think it's just nice to talk about this because uh, the for the teenagers, for the youth, and for the kids, it's time for you, it's time for you to, you know, have a little bit of different perspective mengenai yang namanya uang because um, Uh, kayak the other day I went to school and uh, lagi nganterin Janara ke sekolah and then satu, ada satu anak lagi ngomong sama mamahnya and I overheard the conversation and then anaknya bilang kayak gini oh mami mana uang jajan saya and then maminya bilang uh, entar ya uh, besok mami kasih and then anaknya langsung anaknya langsung bilang kayak gini ah kalau nggak ada uang gimana aku bisa senang-senang di sekolah and then I really thought about it makanya I really wanted to have this topic yang namanya is money everything or money can buy everything or money can buy happiness alright so uh, let me start from and dari dulu gue pengen banget ya gue lagi ngeliat orang yang namanya beli mobil beli rumah beli rumah mewah itu is like maybe they're happy and sebetulnya I have a lot of friends yang kalau mau dibilang very rich and right now the term yang namanya apa gue suka bilang uh, crazy rich Jakarta crazy rich Asian and crazy rich Surabaya I mean uh, I don't know I, I, I will just a, a thought like is is it is it apa ya apakah itu sebahagia itu okay. apakah sebahagia itu kalau punya semuanya dalam hidupnya kamu so jadi uh, lagi bingung sih uh, is it, you know uh, maksudnya gimana caranya untuk uh, You know, the question is, mau bahagia itu gimana sih? I think that's the question. So here it is, I have three things. Can money buy everything? I have three things to share with you. So let me start my three things. Number one adalah money. People use money. Of course, kalau orang bilang bahagia, ada kaitannya dengan uang. Kadang-kadang orang bilang kayak gini, oh no, bahagia itu ada kaitannya dengan cinta. Uh, true, okay, I do believe that. But tapi majority, kalau yang namanya bahagia itu, pasti ada hubungannya dengan uang. Nggak ada uang, nggak bahagia. Nggak ada uang, nggak bisa beli sesuatu. Nggak ada uang, nggak bisa beli apa yang kita inginkan. Oleh karena itu, hasilnya nggak jadi bahagia. So, my point is very simple. Money, I'll talk about money the first thing. And a lot of people buy money for a lot of things. Number satu adalah they buy food. Number dua, they buy things, you know, like shoes and, um, uh, you know, branded wear and off-white and all these other branded. And, um, you know, uh, semuanya lah. Uh, mereka beli, it's, they have to be branded and, and they have to buy with dengan uang mereka harus pakai uang and uh, ketiganya adalah mereka pakai yang namanya self development so point nomor satu adalah udah pasti money has something to do with happiness udah pasti and then uh, people buy food people buy things and people also um, you know self development mereka ngikut program mereka beli buku dan mereka uh, pergi ke motivational program and all of these things and and they they tend to spend it to buy something and then they can get happiness. And uh, the reason I tell you money is the number one thing to give you happiness is very simple because um, sometimes uh, kalau lo lagi sedih, lo beli sesuatu yang lo suka dan lo bahagia. Um, go masih ingat dulu, uh, gue pengen banget yang namanya, nggak tahu sih, gue pengen banget yang namanya kameranya gue sekarang yang gue pakai Sony 6400, Alpha 6400. And gue pengen banget, karena it's a flip-up screen, right? So I sampai, Man, sampai ter... I went to dream about it, let me tell you. I really wanted that. I really wanted so much. So, jadi, I, I, gue punya uang ya. And, and then, uh, gue lagi berdiri di toko uh, kamera. Gue lagi mikir, should I buy or should I not? Yeah, karena gue lagi mikir, lumayan mahal juga. And the Sony camera that I have, uh, currently, yang uh, Alpha 6400, untuk gue, untuk for me, is very expensive. I know maybe for some of you not expensive, tapi for me, it's very like, expensive. So, gue cuma kasih aja, 
um, uh, ya gue lagi berdiri di situ sih lagi mau beli kameranya atau nggak beli kameranya gue lagi bingung jadi uh, I decided to ask said to myself okay fine let's just buy it <laughs> let's just do it I don't care let's just get the camera and and get it going so uh, so I asked, so I went over to the shop and I said to the guy I said okay gue mau beli Alpha 6400 And the guy looked at me and I gave him hard earned cash. Like, like, gue gak pernah beli sesuatu yang segitu mahalnya. And uh, pas gue mau lepas itu kayak gue pengen nangis gitu. Tapi anyway, tapi I was thinking, yaudah lah gak apa-apa lah. Because I like it, I love it, and I dreamed about it, and I really want it, so I buy it. And then gue pake kameranya. And truly enough, I need, to, I need to tell you something. This camera lasted for about six months. This camera lasted about four months. And then after itu, hype-nya went down. Maksudnya... The first time I bought it, it was like, wow, cool, you know. And I was merely happy. And uh, gue bahagia banget. And pas dapet kameranya itu, gue seneng banget. And then pas gue pegang kameranya, gue pake ini. Gue pake for four months. Gue pake for six months. And then after that, the happiness went away. I truly enough, maksudnya, maksudnya bukannya gue gak happy, gue sekarang punya kameranya itu. Tapi the hype of the happy yang gue punya kamera baru, it was gone. Like suddenly hilang. Dan like, bener-bener gak ada apa-apanya. And then, hilang gitu aja jadi gue lagi mikir uh, so here it is I learned something yang namanya point number one money I mean you have money I had money and I went to buy things if you buy things happiness will only last not that long you see it's not continuous happiness lo beli bah kebagian hanya sekedar saat itu juga and then mungkin it will last you two weeks maybe it will last you four weeks or maybe it will last you six months or four months tapi I don't think so it will go that long It, it will not go that long menurut gue kalau misalnya lo beli barang because it's fairly expensive like you buy an iPhone or you you buy a phone I mean it's great you you buy it and and tapi menurut gue it will last that happiness kebahagiaan itu hanya sekedar 3 bulan atau 2 bulan and this is what you call short term happiness and menurut gue you're not looking for short term happiness tapi you're looking for long term happiness I think that's the most Uh, thing that you're looking for, right? So, um, money buys object, and the object gets to you, and it only lasts for about a couple of months until you forget about the object itself, right? So, number two. Number two is very fairly very simple. Uh, having money has an effect to it, and uh, the effect is very... So, let me tell you the effect here it is. If you have a lot of money, if you have a lot of money, sometimes you get people borrowing from you, and then sometimes if you get a lot of money, people... You know, people change in a way. And uh, gak tau, lo pernah dengerin atau enggak? Katanya, the more money you have, the more problem you have. So, <laughs> maksudnya gue, uh, if you have more money, your relationship of friendship, enggak semuanya ya, the relationship of friendship itu, it becomes worse. And enggak tau lah, I have a lot of examples. Like, gue gak harus ceritain nama lo, contohnya. Like, contohnya, all the like, artist-artist di luar negeri yang Hollywoodnya itu, mereka punya uang, you all know what happened to all these people. Gue gak mau mention sih, tapi... Dulunya mereka nggak punya uang, tapi dulunya di, you know, anak yang baik, di Cartoon Network. Tapi akhirnya mereka terkenal, and suddenly they do something, and mereka melakukan sesuatu. And akhirnya they ruin their life. And at the end of the day, lo tahu bahwa, man, uh, yang namanya uh, money, it changes people. So, itu, itu yang kedua, I think. I mean, you can have a lot of money. There's two things. Number one is, it changes you, and it changes your relationship. And sometimes nggak kebagus, tapi sometimes kejelek. And that way, uh, you know, you know that. Uh, this thing yang namanya uang, kalaupun kebanyakan, it also changes your, your, it also changes, it can also change who you are, right? And last one is, um, the more money you have, the more debt you have. I do feel that way also. Debt itu yang namanya utang. Jadi semakin lo banyak punya uang, tapi semakin banyak lo mengutang. Um, gue gak ngerti deh. I'll give you another illustration seperti kayak gini. Um, uh, pertama kali gue kerja, and buat gajinya gue itu 1,3. Gila, men. 1,3 ya. Anyway, I've gone a long way sih actually. Tapi pertama kali gue kerja, gue um, uh, yang dibilangnya gajinya gue itu 1,3. And then tell you enough, 1,3 itu cukup banget untuk sebulan. Banget untuk sebulan. And kenapa cukup banget untuk sebulan? Karena gue bisa nyampe, uh, I can survive sampai sebulan yang namanya 1,3 nya itu. And it's quite merely funny sih at least. Waktu itu sebulan, 1,3. Gue masih ada uang sisa untuk gue bisa save up uh, hari-harinya gue. So, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting. And then, uh, the true thing is, the most funny thing is right now. Right now, gue dapat uang gaji, which is bukan 1,3. And you do know gajinya gue sekarang, uh, maksudnya, not bragging or anything, tapi berkali-kali lipat. Tapi, that's not my point. My point adalah, walaupun sekarang gajinya itu banyak, 
Tapi it seems not enough for me. So maksudnya, yang kedua itu fairly simple. You have a lot of money, uh, you will change. Tapi another one is that when you have a lot of money, you're not satisfied with that much money that you have. Jadi dulu waktu gue dapat gaji 1,3 dan sekarang gue dapat gaji sekarang, sama aja. Jadi yang sekarang kurang, yang dulu uh, cukup. Jadi bingung, sekarang udah... Ya, yeah, you get what I mean lah. And maksudnya gue, uh, orang tuh, a human being is never satisfied of what they get. Alright, yang ketiga adalah, I'll tell you a little story. And this is the three points about uh, buying, yang namanya, if money can buy happiness. Yang ketiga adalah, there was an experience. Uh, ada dua group of orang, atau dua team of orang. Yang orang yang pertama, dikasih uang, jumlah yang sama dengan orang yang kedua. So they gave him the same amount of money with uh, team A, and the same amount of money with team B. They gave him the same amount of cash. So team A decided to spend the money to buy something for them. So for themselves, spend money to buy, uh, okay, spend money to to for themselves. So they went to buy things for themselves. They buy shoes, they buy uh, food, they buy hat, they buy glasses. They went with fashion and you know, not only that, but they just spend the money ke dirinya mereka sendiri. Tapi orang tim yang kedua, they spend the money on other people. They went to buy gift, they went to give, they get to charity and then they went to you know uh, they went to give to a lot of kids and who in needs and people who needs money and who's poverty and all this thing so they made this experience a long time ago and um, i think um, they found out the result was is very amazing because the people who spend money on themselves they tend to be depressed along the way and the people who spend money on other people they tend to be happy along the way because they feel that gratitude they feel they felt that they can contribute to something and then uh, the experience kenapa gue cerita sama lo why do, am i telling you this is because it, it it's it's just it's one of those things in life that you should it's it's mysterious tapi it's one of those things that i'm gonna let you know because i think if you spend it on someone or if you give it to someone you're more happier that way because you know you contribute you know you're helping someone else And, and and that's the number three point because for me you know money sometimes if you are let if you are giving it to someone who will really need more than you 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 know how it feels and and you go back with a sense of blessing and and i think that's the third reason so um i think that's it for today's talk and i'll make it very short for you i want to say thank you so much for fania who came in and fernando also who came in And um, there's three things that I just shared just now, three points. Money, um, number one is, you know, uh, let's buy happiness. Can money buy happiness or not? Number one is for sure. Money, uh, if you buy it on things that you want, like you want, you can be happy, but it's called short-term happiness. And it's not long-term happiness. Karena kalau lo beli barang, hanya cuma sebentar aja. Yang kedua adalah, uh, semakin uang lo punya, semakin susah. Yeah, the more money you have, the more problem you get. And then and, and it's either that relationship, it's either... Um, not satisfied with uh, you know with what you have it's either more debt banyak utang yang lo punya yang ketiga adalah spend money with other people you know if you have a lot of money spend a little bit of that money with other people that way you can have a long term happiness that way because uh, at least you find you contribute if, if you ask me uh, uang tuh bisa beli kebahagiaan atau enggak gue bilang iya that's my result iya uang itu bisa beli kebahagiaan and ada orang suka bilang kayak gini um I don't get it, uh, maksudnya kalau uang nggak bisa beli kebahagiaan itu all I can say is that if money cannot buy happiness, then I don't think so you're spending money the right way. That's it, see. That's my point. I mean, uh, truly enough, if you want to ask me, you know, you probably came into the channel and you probably want to hear, kayak, oh, he's going to tell me that, you know, money doesn't buy everything. Unfortunately, money buys everything. Unfortunately, money gets you happiness. But if you talk about short term or long term, I think money will give you short term happiness. And in life, you're not looking for short term. Your life, you're looking for long term or that internal happiness that you want. And the best part is sometimes you're not only looking for a long term happiness, but you're looking for happiness that you that that gives you a contribution that gives you that 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 gives you the feeling of satisfaction and The, the feeling of securement and the feeling of growth, the feeling of contribution, and I think this this is the human needs that that I need to tell you. And um, yes, money can buy everything, and money can buy happiness. That's true. Yet at the same time, you have to know something. You spend money wisely, and you get long term happiness. 
and you give to a lot of people, you get long-term happiness. And that's all I want to say today. And I'd like to say thank you so much for coming to the stream. I really do appreciate it for those of you who, who's, uh, who's watching. And if you're new to the channel, if this associates of this uh, relate to you, please give me a like and also subscribe to the channel. And uh, my next live will be on Wednesday. So I'll be talking to about another topic, my next live. And um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. So keep it real, keep it clean, and you vlog positive. Goodbye, everybody. Take care. Bye.